what is good welcome back to the channel you are rocking with agent r and we got a little update here because not only are some things leaked and dropped for us for season three of modern warfare 2 from call of duty but the huge one is there's supposed to be an update on the ricochet system for their anti-cheat i'll check out exactly what they're saying here it says the ricochet anti-cheat team reveals new detections and tools in the fight against cheaters including in ranked play so there you go if that matters to you right then know that you know the the results have already been been skewed so it is it is what it is. So since launch, the Ricochet Anti-Cheat team has been developing and deploying new techniques and technologies to combat unfair play for both Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2.0. And in the Season 3 Anti-Cheat Progress Report, we detail several new layers of security and detections to protect all modes with a focus on ranked play for Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2.0. So that's, I like how they ended that sentence there because while yes, we do want to like do everything for, for everyone involved, I think they're supposed to be coming up with ranked play for Warzone 2.0 next. It's already here for uh, MW2 in the multiplayer and you're trying to maintain the integrity of it, right? Like the, there's excitement around it, whether I play it or not is irrelevant. There is excitement and importance for people around that mode. It is a leaderboard and the fact that there's already I mean, there's been rampant cheating in there. It just leads to foul taste in everybody's mouth, right? It says Ricochet Anti-Cheat maintains a zero tolerance policy related to cheating in all modes, including ranked play. So what happens is all accounts caught cheating may be, may be permanently banned across Call of Duty titles as outlined in the security and enforcement policy. Banned accounts will have their records purged from the ranked play top 250 and other competitive leaderboards. So... That's kind of weird. They're only keeping it from the top 250. It's still affecting other people's play as well. So they're just having the records purged. I guess, does a record not matter when you're not top 250? I mean, it's still affecting other people regardless. Specific to ranked play, Ricochet Anti-Cheat and Development Studios may adjust the skill rating for players that have frequently played with and benefited from banned cheating accounts, even if they themselves have not used cheats. Huh. They may adjust the skill rating for players that have frequently played with and it says and benefited from banned cheating accounts. Oh, okay. I see what they're saying. So just in general, if you've, if you frequently played with an account that was cheating and got banned, even if they themselves have not used the cheats. So like, I guess like if you're in proximity with that's, that's such an interesting way to put that because I was thinking that they were just going to focus more on that particular player and you know I guess like the legacy of what they have done uh, and try to keep up with them in, in that manner like regardless if they make another account or not I know uh, there's an AI anti-cheat that sort of has that because it creates like a fingerprint so to speak of you in games but this seems like it also would hit people up who had like teamed up with them frequently and that was the case that's that's interesting let me know if, if i'm just reading that completely wrong so they have the replay investigation tool so thanks to the development studio teams team ricochet has deployed a new replay investigation tool to help protect the integrity of modern warfare 2 multiplayer and warzone 2.0 also this is just letting us know that this is just for their their current project so anything before i've seen some videos of people going back and playing and you know, like even vanguard and how you know the game is already broken now because they've moved on so all the hacks just have fun there i guess using captured and stored match gameplay data our teams can load up and watch any completed match as part of our investigation process replay will be used as one of the many tools by the ricochet entity team and our studio partners to identify cheating behavior in all multiplayer modes for both games with respect to ranked play team ricochet will automatically capture and store all match data for the highest tiers of competition for potential investigation use we also are capturing match data from suspicious accounts across all modes for easy replay access this is so funny to me um, as we're going because like all of this is is data and server resources, right? So we already have it to where I mean, like Call of Duty, Activision, all their studios are notorious for having some of the worst server integrity amongst, uh, you know, multiplayer and, and PvP games, the FPS stuff. And now that they're adding this system on top of everything else, like does that tell us they're like improving their system or is that just taking away for more of the resources that we would use hopping in game and therefore the integrity is just worse that's that's a question i have for that regardless of the 
you know how effective any of this stuff actually is so it's a new tool for team ricochet replay has already helped with investigations into suspicious accounts resulting in permanent bans all right any player caught cheating via any of our systems will be banned will be across Call of Duty titles outlined in the security and enforcement policy. Ban players will be removed from early to work. It says that they will be down here, right? Because they are going with the policy. But then, you know, they said that they may. But then down here, it says will be. <laughs> may and will are definitely two different atmospheres that you produce. So which which is it? Maybe they thought about it. Uh, at the top maybe they wrote the other this part at first and then they thought about it and they were like well we don't want to hurt our player base too much considering that a third of them are the cheaters so you know, they still bought the game reporting any cheating behavior you may encounter is helpful to our investigation process reports help flag accounts for review throughout our systems or through our systems including replay so we urge everyone to use the in-game tools to report suspicious players is there any penalty for griefing or just people being haters you're you're increasing the level of scrutiny within the game which is fine but your player base when it comes to these kinds of things really don't know what they're looking for and at best are juvenile with their response so this seems in the early going like this could do more harm than good it certainly creates a workload right for you know the the staff that's going to be looking over this or team ricochet i, I suppose would be doing that Maybe they're, they have some AI tools to help assist them with this. I don't know, but that seems like a recipe for disaster. Here's the big one. Since our previous progress report, Team Ricochet has developed and tested a detection for third-party hardware devices that alter Call of Duty gameplay experience. These devices act as a pass-through for controllers on PC and console, and when used improperly or maliciously, can provide a player with the ability to gain an unfair gameplay advantage, such as reducing or eliminating recoil. Testing is complete. This detection is deployed globally on all platforms. So they're saying, hey, <laughs> we're already in the wild. There's these are those like devices like a Cronus Zen is that it yeah that's the, these things right here this is console gaming without limits uh, you know what let's let's actually look at what this does for a second universally recognizes the world's definitive controller emulation and scripting technology that's where a lot of this gets in trouble giving gamers the most powerful video game controller conversion technology ever created mod your controller with free scripts racing wheels like is this telling us from their own website is it telling us how they're how like how this ends up going into cheating they have you can connect mice and keyboard directly to the console without a pc anti-recoil reduce recoil on almost any weapon to give dead center accuracy featured mods so this is how they're getting around it but they've been getting around it for a while right because they're not the ones who are necessarily providing it to you are these just like community mods that come in convert semi-automatic weapons into fully automatic set the custom rate of fire speeds what jitter takes advantage of a glitch in some games allowing weapons to shoot insanely fast you don't need to constantly hit the thumbstick to make your character sprint auto sprint fast reload drop shot oh so people are using this to get the input for it holds the breath automatically people are really doing this it's fucking insane mouse and keyboard shit oh my Oh, they're showing my they're showing my controller. You can connect your controller to most platforms, so you can use the Elite on a PlayStation. It's hilarious. Yeah, they put these folks up here. I can never go back using a normal controller after this. So you're telling us that you just don't want to actually get good at playing the game. I understand. Does Cronus have aimbot CV or hack the game? Cronus does not hack anything in the game, game console, PC, nor does it allow you to do anything that the game itself does not allow. <laughs> this is PC hard-coded hacks that allow aimbot, walking through walls, god mode, etc. It is absolutely impossible for Cronus to do any of these hacks. It is not how Cronus works. Unfortunately, the Cronus brand gets mixed in with this stuff. This That's hilarious. That is such denial. Oh my God. It says it simply mimics button stick, touch paddle, uh, touchpad paddle and trigger presses, movements using open source scripts or macros. I mean, macros themselves uh, are cheats in certain games. It's like, hey, I wanna go play Street Fighter Six coming up and then somebody has like macro input, like bruh, that's definitely cheating. This is especially attractive to those who have, and now they're trying to justify it that if you went and bought an expensive ass controller, <laughs> if it was blocked using Cronus Zen allows you to use that wheel. They're like, hey, this 
device will block me in said game or on said console. They were like, just use this Cronus Zen and you just you just step right around that important aspect of this all. You can be better at your games for the low price of 100 bucks. I mean, you must really love the game you're playing or need to to win or trying to produce content, I suppose. If you're going to spend the cost of another game on <laughs> this thing, the adapters, white glove upgrade service, man, this is a it's a pretty clean racket. I can't lie. They got it all set up for you. You can be better at the game by just removing the limitations of not knowing how to play better. That's essentially what this is. I mean, the game's not broken. They're just saying, hey, you know, there's recoil on that gun. Screw that. Even though there are, you know, it's, when we're talking Call of Duty, there's stuff in the game that will reduce your recoil. That's, that's just weird. It's, for, it's, it's in the game that you buy and, you know, if you're willing to spend a hundred bucks on it and they're like, hey, who, who are we to not oblige you? It says users across PC or console who are detected to be using third party software devices or excuse me, hardware devices to impact Modern Warfare 2 or Warzone 2 gameplay will first see a warning. All right. So they're being they're being nice about it. Like they're, they're like, here, this you're going to get this warning first and the unsupported device warning. Continued improper use of these devices may lead to additional warnings, the deployment of mitigations, account or feature suspensions, or the banning of the offending account across all Call of Duty titles. We will continue to monitor this new detection's effectiveness and update our systems against further circumvention over time. So yeah, they're like, hey, well, this is not something that we're just going to one and done. It is going to move forward, trying to protect the integrity of the game. Cheating and Call of Duty are pretty much synonymous at this point. So eh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I mean, it's at this point, it's the skepticism, of course. Okay, the videos below represent previously revealed mitigations that are currently active with other unannounced surprises deployed and in testing or planning. So they have just the most random stuff laid out for when they suspect you're cheating. I'm laughing because like we only think about like them actually getting legitimate cheaters. But what if you just do something that's one off and they just get you for it as well? And you're like, man, what's wrong with my game? Mitigations are used to negatively impact the experience of cheaters while also giving our team the opportunity to collect valuable data from the bad actors. This intel provides the Ricochet Anti-Cheat team with valuable information to help combat the behavior in the future. So this is cloaking, the process of hiding legitimate players from detecting cheaters. All right, what we got here? Oh, okay. So he's looking, can no longer see him. That's interesting. Disarm. The process of removing weapons and equipment from cheaters while in the game. He's going to shoot him. But well, he's going to, what, he went to... <laughs> did he go to switch weapons? When does, when did that happen? He definitely took a snipe at him. Oh, it just put it away. I see. And then it just has an animation. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. So it literally just puts it away for you. Just like holsters it forever. Damage shield, the process of providing legitimate players with a protective barrier. Oh, that's going to feel disgusting. He's just standing there tanking it. That feels like you're just shooting AI right now, right? <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> and then you can fire back and take them out. That's not gonna feel great at all. Now, now we're just now you're gonna wonder if they hit you up. Something. That's that's great. Account boosting, game glitching or exploiting, and player griefing are in opposition to the policy and code of conduct. Players that engage in these behaviors will see in-game warnings detailing these offenses. If these behaviors persist, then you know more of the same griefing warning the above represents only some of the advancements they've been working on the team is constantly fighting an ongoing cat and mouse game to lock out cheaters and preserve fair play i mean that is the problem it's, it is cat and mouse every generation always has just a group of whoever within that niche that is always just going to try and take the the easiest way out i suppose instead of actually getting better i, I hate that yes winning is definitely a part of the fun factor there's no arguing that however there's such a focus on that that part of the fun 
as well as being lost, which is the learning, which is getting better, which is seeing where you were versus where you are now. And tools like this just cut right through that. And they really rob a people of that entire process. I mean, you do that, you know, you rob them of that for profit. I mean, and then so they're already willing to do it and then you offer it to them and they just go for it. So it is what it is. It's, it's cat and mouse. It's, it's humanity. Like it's always going to exist. It just sucks that they have to waste so many resources on that when apparently uh, I mentioned that number earlier. There was a video that went out a few days ago or sometime back. A company was like roughly a third of like players within a given instance are cheating. Like that's, that's sad. That's just sad. Just get good actually the the journey is also part of the fun as well getting pub stomped it used to be part of the experience i mean we had persistent lobbies so somebody would like go and you know nuke the lobby or whatever you can stick around and talk shit and then hop back in there and try to take them out the next time maybe that's a that's what's contributed to it as well there's no like continuity uh, within the experience so then it's just all random and then nobody really they don't have anything to i guess compare themselves with except uh, content creator let me know if you think this is going to positively impact the game do you think it's like i said with the resource do you think it's going to have like a negative impact and in, in the in between like how much cheating do you think that you've actually run across let me know